For this project, you will need your book of shadows, quill pen or fine tip brush, and dragon's blood ink. I drew guidelines first to make sure everything was lined up. On this page, we will copy down the alchemical symbols for the five elements and their placement around the pentacle. This will be the title page for the correspondence. In the pages that follow, we will be copying down the correspondence tables. This will include elemental correspondence, planetary correspondence, zodiacal correspondence, planetary hours, phases of the moon, color correspondence, and many others. Correspondence charts are important to have in your book of shadows and important to memorize. It is valuable to our spell work and is important information to know when making incense or using the correct plants and oils in recipes. It is also important to know when the best times are to do spell work, the times of day, days of the week, and planetary hours are all important to have when casting a spell. Correspondence is an important part of alchemical history. The Greeks proposed the existence of the basic elements that were the foundation of life. Four of the elements were the physical elements, fire, air, water, and earth, the elements of which the entire world is composed. Alchemists eventually assigned four triangular symbols to represent these elements. The orientation of the triangle is determined by gender. Male, warm elements point upward, ascending towards the spiritual realm. Female, cold elements point downward, descending into the earth. Opposing elements are on opposite sides of the diagram and are distinguished by the presence or absence of a crossbar within the triangle. Air and earth have a crossbar within the triangle. Water and fire do not. The fifth element is spirit, ether, or quintessence, literally meaning the fifth element in Latin. It is placed at the top of the pentacle. In Western occult theory, these elements are hierarchical, spirit, fire, air, water, earth, with the first element being more spiritual and the last being more material or base. Some modern systems, such as Wicca, view the elements as equal. Ceremonial occult systems traditionally depend on systems of correspondence. These are a collection of items, plants, or objects that are associated in some way with a desired outcome or goal. All seasons, times of day, moon phases, and directions have all become fairly standardized in Western occult traditions. The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn codified the cardinal directions in the 19th century. Originating in England, the Golden Dawn's correspondence reflected a European perspective. South had a warmer climate, so fire was appropriate. The Atlantic Ocean lies to the west, so water was assigned. And north is a cold land of mountains and forest, so the earth is its element. Air's direction lies to the east. Thank you for watching. We have reached 10,000 views. 
we appreciate all of the likes and shares. We've decided to give away a wood pentacle for the altar of the first viewer who can answer this question correctly. What was the name of the coven Gerald Gardner was initiated into? We will announce the winner in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on all of our projects. Blessed be. Thank you.